Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Star Studio Gallery in the backyard. It's raining and I'm standing in a puddle. But you can't make me go in. I'm not, I won't go. <laughs> I have set my timer and I have a canvas in front of me that is 16 by 20 inches with something on it that they left me. Nice present, flawed canvas. Okay, so I just did a swipe from the middle out and it wound up being marvelous because it was blocky. And geometric and I'm thinking that I would just like to take some time and put some colors down anywhere I feel like it any way I feel like it and take my pieces of acetate that I have cut up into multiple sizes to be swipe swipe what are you swipe swipe cards <laughs> swipe cards okay and I'm gonna put I'm gonna try and put like three Three lines in every area. I have a color palette in mind, sort of. Um, there's an artist who I love, whose name is Betty Krause. She's on my Instagram link. If you want to find my Instagram link, it's on the bottom of the. Uh, it's in the description underneath the video. Anyway, so I'm just going to go a little crazy and experiment um, with colors that I like, that might be fun, and see what happens as we pull them over one another. I'm not sure if I'm going to put any more, I was going to say black in there, but it's Prussian blue. I kind of want, whoop, that's just, that was more than one. I kind of want some white in there also and some more gold. Whoop, that has not been shaken. That's what Floatrol looks like if you don't shake. And that's a great color, so. Hopefully, I have enough paint in enough places. Let's not make that mistake again. Don't put your cap back on. You're going to want that in a minute. I have no idea how this is going to turn out. So this is a true experiment. This is a first. And uh, I like firsts. Let's go for a little bit of this. Now I know I've got to go in the direction of that pink with that orange, because otherwise it could be a problem. And I am going to start sometime really soon, like in a minute, <laughs> and hope that I get my colors right, because which ones I drag over, which ones are important. And I think we're going to learn that together. But um, they're fun so far, so that counts for something. I think I want some more of that Prussian blue over here. And I said I was going to use white. Am I going to use white or am I going to use white pearl? And do I want more of this? Whatever you are, go away. I love the... Uh, i got to be careful there. Okay, what's going in there? I think um, more of that minty green. Minty green color shift. No, that's a turquoise color shift. This is a minty green color shift. There we go. That's minty green. Pretty similar, but not the same exactly. I have some more Bahama blue. Do I want more? This is really risky. <laughs> it feels really risky. Um, I think probably some gold in uh, miscellaneous places is not a bad idea because I'm basically, like I said, going to be swiping all over this. And if it doesn't work, with, if the acetate gets too mucky too quickly, I'm just going to switch to spatulas and not worry about it. What's going in here? I don't know. Um, <laughs> I want something good in there. Let's just go for the orange. Let's go for a lighter color orange. Orange and gold are always good. I think that green would be better with some more yellow. We'll see if I'm right or not. Okay, so white pearl or white? I think I'm just going to have to go with white. And I'm going to put a bunch of white bands just inside of everything. And if I do this again, I might do it with black. But I want to create, and I want to have enough paint on the canvas so that when I pull these, whoops, what are you? Go away thing. Um, when I pull the paint on the canvas that I don't have any canvas left showing afterwards. Um, it's an experiment. What can I say? We're going to find out together. I said that already. 
I'm sure I did. Alright, so I'm just doing it kind of randomly. I'm not making sure it's everywhere, it's just most places. And I see the one thing I didn't use a lot of was that red, and I kind of want a little more, but I don't want to put it with near, near the green. So I'm going to put some right in there, and maybe some right in there. All right, so <laughs> here goes nothing. Wow. And I'm going to start. Yes, I am. I'm going to start. And I'm just going to keep overlapping things. And I'm going to look for colors that I think might go well together. And as I start, I'm just trying to cover the canvas by swiping. And I'm going to stick with colors that I think won't make a nasty mess, like mud. I'm going to use my excess paint on the edge of the canvas right there. When I get to the point where I want to flip it over, I'm going to flip it over. Where's my white? That's the pearl. All right, I want a lot more white right there. And I'm going to flip my card over. Actually, I'm going to flip it sideways. And I'm going to have to flip it, bring it back to that place that I see is blank. And there's another blank spot. And, all right. So I'm going to dip the card in, pull it down, and I'm going to pull it back. I'm going to just keep putting it into the places. Ah, it's time to be very careful now. <laughs> I see that one. I see that thing that does not belong to. But we will be using uh, a torch to release some patterns. Let's see how many spaces I have left on my card that I'm not endangering anything with. This is a really interesting technique. Do I want to? I do, I want to. Take a chance. A little pressure on the card to try and cover any of the canvas. A little scrape of the card. Get the paint off and utilize it on an edge. Um, I like this blue over here and this pink. And I think it will look good right there. Also, right there. And since I have that paint on the card, I'm just going to let it be part of the pattern. This is neat. I got to get rid of some paint. I really don't want to make mud. And I've got paint all over all edges of my card. I'm going to, when I see the canvas, I'm just going to stick that card right in there and pull it a little bit. I'm going to wipe it off <laughs> and pull it a little bit. And uh, it's covering pretty well. I'm, I'm actually pretty happy. I think I can just, if I'm very cautious and a little bit delicate, I'm not going to mess up too bad. What have I got over there? I got pink. I can handle that. So I'm just going to put some pressure right down on there. Then I'm going to use that paint color right there and right here run my finger along the edge before it becomes anything more obnoxious. This is fun. It's a little risky, but it's fun. I'm having a good time. I may want to put some, uh, some Prussian blue in afterwards. I'm going to check for color that I don't mind the look of. Come back and just go as far as I think I can before I uh, take a chance. So just making blocks of color, just changing it up and changing it up and changing it up. That's a nice pink and there's some green in there. I'm going to take a chance. It's a paint adventure. I'm going to use that color. I'm also going to use whatever's on the edge of that card because it's pretty much a crazy quilt of a painting anyway. So why not use the paint to cover the edges? It reminds me of a Madras plaid, which has got a lot of pinks in it and stuff. All right, I'm down to it, and I really think I want to wipe off some of the card. Maybe not all of it. I'm going to dip that card sideways in that orange before I start, and then the yellow. I'm going to push it 
right over there. And because I have that orange on there and I want to use it, I'm going to bring it back this way. I think I've been very lucky so far. All right, I like all that. I haven't made any terrible mud yet. <laughs> Cross your fingers. And I'm probably not completely in your line of sight. I have pretty colors, and as we agitate paint, we will continue to mix uh, to make the potential for cells. And I'm going to keep wiping my card, tapping my card. I'm not wiping as much as tapping. I'm tapping my card on the edge. So we keep the colors from becoming too muddy, and we still use the colors that we have. And this is actually becoming a lot less wasteful than I thought it was going to be. And I suppose tomorrow, if I found that I had a lot of miscellaneous stuff that needed to be covered on the edges, I could do that. But in the meantime, this is working. So, surprised as I might be, I'm very pleased by that. And if I have a lot of paint on my edge, I can stick my card right in it again and use it to cover. Now, I have no problem with any of that. That's, in my opinion, that's beautiful. That's very nice. Um, I do have a little problem with this, and I don't really want to change it an awful lot. And I know that that pink sinks, so if I, my theory is, if I use a spatula, a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula, that I'll do less invasion. I'm going to wipe that off on the edge again. I've got gold paint on my edge. And uh, I'm going to see what's on my card and just drag it around with me as I go. As long as it doesn't look muddy, I think I'm safe in using it on my edges. They're, they look pretty cool, actually. I know you can't see everything I'm doing, but I'm just, just touching my edges with my finger and uh, hoping that I can continue to get away with this. Got some Prussian blue on there, but it looks nice. It's a nice contrast next to the, the minty green. I'll scrape my card down and see what comes down on my edge, which is looking pretty good. I wish I could tip it up to show you. I see that yellow there. I'm going to look for miscellaneous pieces of canvas I might have missed. or any other anomalous things I might want to get rid of, that right there. Don't tell anybody I did that. <laughs> yeah. All right. That is cool. But I happen to know that that, yes, that was a Prussian blue under that white. And I'm going to be okay. Whoops. <laughs> I was going to be okay. Letting that drag down. All right, so I'm thinking that it's definitely time to torch if we're going to torch. And we are going to torch because releasing the bubbles in the paint is always a good thing. We don't like to find them the next day. It's a good thing I got my glasses on because there is a little bit of canvas showing here and there. And I'm sure I'm going to find some edges that need to be covered. But most of them, believe it or not, are covered already. That's neat. New series. And whatever's. Oh, here comes the rain again. All right, so I got two minutes left to tell you whatever I'm going to tell you, which is um, underneath the Teespring, which has designs, my art put on clothing and other items, tote bags and stuff, which helps me if you buy stuff there. Um, there's the Amazon link where you can find my gold mica powder, and I'll give you the recipe if you ask me for it. And uh, there's OXO omelet turning spatulas these, which I use almost religiously at the beginning of most artworks, and my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas. Excuse me while I get distracted. <laughs> ah, I didn't even use all my cards. I am still finding little tiny bits of canvas, but it seems like it's not a problem to just stick my finger in the little gap and... Uh, take care of it before the paint gets too gummy. The torch will set the paint up to a degree, but it will also obviously release some patterns. 
I don't know. I think I'm pretty lucky that I got what I got. I'm very happy with my colors. And I will say that I was inspired by Betty Krauss. I said my Amazon link is at the bottom of the description along with um, Pinterest and Facebook albums, one, two, and three, that I'm working on filling up full of YouTube artworks, wet and dry. I do sell my artwork, so if you're interested in owning something, just contact me through YouTube comments and I'll give you an email address. And after that, uh, we'll figure out everything, every other, all the other little details, shall we say. Um, if you decide to be a contributor to the studio, you will be automatically included in a contest where I provide three or four artworks. And I usually post a video um, and put a link to that video in the last 20 seconds of most other videos so that you can find what the prizes are. And you can also find there in the last 20 seconds on the end screen cards um, my playlist for over 450 videos, which is creeping up to 500 pretty quick now. So I want to make sure to thank, I always thank, all of the contributors who have kept me painting so far. I love you guys. And um, tell you how happy I am to have 50,000 subscribers. And I hope I keep you happy. And if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, it helps my placement in YouTube. And uh, might help me make a little bit of a living, too, if I get lucky enough to have you guys watch as much of the video as you can manage because the amount of time you watch directly reflects on what kind of living I make. <laughs> so thank you for your help. I appreciate that. I got one minute left, and I think I've just found my last piece of canvas. I want to make sure you guys know that my camera shuts off in 20 minutes, and that's why I set my timer. And other than that, I think if I check my list, I've told you everything I need to tell you, and I'm going to spend another four or five minutes or fewer um, looking for things to touch up on the edges and picking up paint that fell off the side of my canvas. But overall, I didn't waste much paint, and I'm very happy any time that happens. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. Going, I think I want some more purple right there. And if I just touch it lightly, whoops, schmutzy. Okay. If I just try and fix it. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be okay. Yes, I'm good. All right. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.